ages ago. A new look, fresh coat of paint. Hem chose that colour. I know, there's nothing wrong with it. Just time for a change, isn't it? You know, nice new feel to the place. You got work on today? Delivery for Rocky. Yeah, well, at least it's work. I'm delivering manky art furniture to a club in town. It's hardly worth doing. Hey, you're getting paid for it, aren't you? Just be thankful. Not much, no, Rocky. Another no-mark job. Steve you? No. Nope. He's in a double what I get now, fiddling with engines. So what happened to all these great new plans that you had? Well, that's exactly what he thinks they are. Plans. What about you? I don't know. There's no way I'm going to be stuck living furniture forever. So what is it exactly that's going to lift you to these new great heights then? I don't know, yeah. Something to come along. Oh, yeah. Well, life's about opportunity, you know. And it doesn't always come knocking at the door. Sometimes you've got to go out and find it for yourself, know what I mean? And that concludes our story. I haven't finished yet. I said I haven't finished yet. Mum, tell her I haven't done all my lines. I don't need my lines. I need my cue lines. How many times are you going to watch this? Bev, you can't keep dwelling on it like this, love. OK, it all got out of hand, but it'll be forgotten soon. Do you think so? Tell that to Josh. He's upstairs in his room now, all upset because the other kids in school are picking on him for ruining the school play. I knew I shouldn't have forced him to go in. Yeah, well, it's the school's fault for letting it happen. Yeah, well, the teachers are only going to stop them, are they? They probably agree with the kids who've been picking on him. Look, believe me, it will all blow over. Oh, yeah, till the next time he makes a show of himself, and the time after that, and... Look, once he starts seeing this child psychologist, then his behaviour will start to improve. Do you think so? Yeah, and you better believe it will too. Because if you don't have faith in it, how can we expect Josh to? You the manager, mate? Yeah. Got the delivery chairs for you. Head off the dressing room. And you lot say I never do anything for you. You're too good to us, Tom. I could be better <laughs> for you. Hey, where do you want them, mate? Um, half in the girls' dressing room, they're half in the fellas. Fellas? Yeah. Bear bar two. Our male lap dancing club. For women? Who else? Oh, look, can you show him where to go, can you? Uh, I'll catch you later. Just, uh, if, well, you just follow Candy, yeah? Close your mouth, you'd be catching flies. Sorry. So was he the owner? No, the manager doesn't stop him thinking he can take liberties though. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen Scrooge spend anything. <laughs> you won't be along. Too long. But I need the money. Don't we all? Did you do this all the time then? It helps pay off my student loan. Oh I? What are you studying? Making a right mess of the chat, aren't I? I just get so used to knocking Groper back there. All right, come on, get a move on. There's the punters waiting down there. See ya. Oh, you'd have that dancing on your lap, wouldn't you? Hmm? Anyway, um, any chance of you getting rid of this lot for us? Sorry, I was only told to deliver the new ones. Unless you did that, of course. You could do it with some new tables, you know. These ones are falling to bits. I'm not putting any more money in Oki Johnson's pocket. No, I could do you a good price. Depends what you mean by a good price. Well, you won't find a better one. All right, then, well, you show me what you can lay your hands on, and if I like it, then you're on. No problem. All right, then. You can get the rest of these chairs into the fellas' dressing room, then I'll weigh you in for this lot, all right? Sam? All right. All right, mate, I've got these for you. That's it, well, they're not even new. Sorry, mate, I'm just delivering them. It's just the man in here, mate, of us. Looks like you're doing all right. Yeah, the club keeps most of this. We just end up getting a percentage. You must be doing all right, then. Not half. I took at least a grand each on the weekend. You're messing. How many is there of it? About 30. So a bit of decent furniture wouldn't break them, would it? Must admit, though. Must be hard dancing in front of a lot of bears with your kids, eh? Get used to it. Just becomes like any other job after a while. Mm. No way I could do that. 
Uh, you'd be surprised, mate. Just bottle him. <laughs> Catch you later. See you later. Is he okay? Oh, he's firing. He's taking your old radio alarm clock to pieces. It says he's going to make a time machine. <laughs> he's got some imagination. I'll give him that one. Yeah, but well, that's past the problem, isn't it? What is this child psychologist going to make of him? He's going to think he's delusional or something. He shouldn't be thinking like that. He's a bright kid. We should encourage him to use his imagination. Yeah, well, that's what's got him into so much trouble. Well, we'll just have to try our best, won't we? Look, with the proper help, we can find out what makes Josh behave the way he does and deal with it. Well, that's obvious. It's me. I mean, look at his upbringing. He's never settled down anywhere properly, has he? Even when things have been stable, I've had to put work first. You've been far too harsh on yourself. OK, his upbringing hasn't been exactly conventional, but none of that matters. He's grown up, he's loved, and he's well cared for. Bev, his problems are caused by something that you have got no control over. The it's a medical condition, an illness. And dealing with it isn't going to be easy, but at least we've started addressing it properly. Child psychologist, though. He even Anthony Murray never had one of those, and he killed someone. Hey, come on, stop being so negative. I thought we'd already agreed that this was best for him. It is. I'm just worried about the effect it'll have on him. You know, when word gets out, he's seen a kiddie shrink, he's going to be labelled a nutter for the rest of his school life. Yeah, well, we'll have to try our best to keep it quiet, but we can't let what people think stop us from getting him help. I don't want him to be the school freak. Yeah, well, it's too late. Look, at least this way, he stands a chance. Now, no one said that it was going to be easy, but if this child psychologist is going to work, Josh is going to need us both to be strong for him. So let's try and be positive, eh? And with our help, he can get through this, and all his problems will be behind him. So, where'd you rob these from? It's all legit. You're not selling me Yucky Johnson's cast-offs, are you? Oh, sorry. I didn't think it clashed with your interior design. <laughs> hey, I can get you a few clothes rails and a few new mirrors if you yeah, want. We'll come and see them when you finish getting the rest of these tables in, and we'll sort it all out. Same deal as the last lot, though. Of course. Right. Hey! Looks like Uncle Timothy's gonna set up your dressing room nice for you. Yeah, about time to. Oh, at least you could show me some gratitude. All right, then. You get cracking, and I'll see you later. Have a drink in the bar downstairs when you're finished. He's a right smooth here, Minnie. <laughs> yeah, he thinks he is, but some of the girls go for it as well. Especially when he's flashing money around. He knows none of that will work on me. Has you got a few bob then? No, he does all right out of this place, and I don't mean wages. Why doesn't that surprise me? Everyone knows well, except for the owners, if they knew. So, um, are you going to be around for a few days? Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of all this old furniture and bring some new stuff in. And what does your girlfriend think if you're working in a club full of naked girls? I haven't got one. Yeah, I find that hard to believe. I was married. She died last year. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right. You went to know. It's terrible. She hurt herself in a fall. And died a few weeks later. Come on, love. There's a riot going on out there. Move it. Oh, 
right, move it. Well, listen now, you're out there dancing as soon as possible. Sorry, I hate to interrupt your chat. Money down the chute. Come on, move it. the official turn and on ceremony. Oh, you want me to turn you on? <laughs> the light switch. <laughs> oh, it's so much better. It's brilliant. The girls are going to love this. Thanks. Well, does that mean everything's done around here now, then? Yeah, well, I've got a bit of finishing off to do. Well, does that mean I'm not going to see you around here anymore, then? It doesn't look like it. Shame. Unless me and you could... I've told you before. You're there to work, and it's not a library. I was on a break. Yeah, and I bet that lasted longer than it should have done. Go on, get yourself downstairs. Go on. Well, well, well. You've done me proud. And all for next to nothing. Well, if I ever do anything else doing, I'll certainly put the work your way. Thanks, Ron. Yeah. Here you are. That's what we agreed. Bargain at twice the price. Cheers. Listen, Don. I was going to ask if you had anything more permanent. I mean, I've done a bit in clubs and bars, haven't I? Well, you got a job. Yeah, I don't mind doing this sort of work, but I want something to keep me more busy. I want a regular wage. Well, you're a grafter, I'll give you that. And my best mate's on the lookout as well. No, he's the same as me, you know, an hard worker. We usually work together. Bit of a double act, really. Hmm? Double act, are you? Yeah. Go anywhere, do anything. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you pop in tonight and uh, I might have something for you. Nice one. See you later. Cheers, Don. Stay. Can you meet his eyes in a bit? I've got something to tell you. It's urgent. Oh, please, mate. I'll make it worth your while. Sound. What it was about? No, just that it was important. Well, it's bound to be something dodgy, though. I can tell by his voice. Well, you never know. It might be legit. I mean, he's been working hard at that lap dancing club, you know. Maybe he's got some work through that. I'm not shifting second-hand furniture. No, thank you. I mean, I know working underneath cars isn't very glamorous, but it beats being a removals, man. I'm fed up with all that stuff and Tim knows it. Well, there you are. You can tell him now. Hey, what's so important? I've got work to do. Wait till you hear what I've got lined up for us. Oh, it's another one of them get-rich-quick scams, isn't it? This is no scam. This is the real deal. Big job, big money. I'm not interested. Just hear me out, will you? Oh, come on, then. I'm not being funny or not in gym, but I don't think you're really suited for this one. How do you mean, like? Because the last time you got involved in a job, you lost it. Now, this one's bigger, much bigger. Well, maybe taking Jimmy to Newcastle would be a lot easier than safer. Hey, you. I was ill then. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I don't think you should get involved anyway, OK? All right. I'll leave you to it. I'll tell you something. Don't come crying to me when it all goes pear-shaped. You're wasting your time. Oh, just listen to what I've got to say, will you? Right, if you don't want in, then fine, I won't bother you again. But you stand to earn more in one night than you could in two years stuck under a car. I know where there's 30 grand sitting in the basement just waiting for someone to help themselves to it. You what? This lap dancing bar in town. You never believe how much they earn in one night or what they do with the cash. Yeah, come on. Well, it all sits in the basement until the manager collects it at the end of the night. And what? There's not even a safe. What, so you're just going to help yourself to it? If they're stupid enough to leave grand just lying around, who are we to turn down the chance of a lifetime? Well, well, wait a minute, we? Are you telling me you couldn't do it 15 grand? Well, what happens if you get caught? You'll end up with heavies on you or end up in the nick. Or we could end up with 30 grand for an hour's work. Well, what have you got planned? Well, I haven't exactly got a plan yet, but I will have once I've familiarised myself with the setup. Now you're going to do that? That's in hand, I'll tell you that in a minute. But first, let me fill you in on the background. This dance bar is in an old hotel. It's two floors and the basement. On the top floor, the male dancers. And that's for women punters, you know, hen parties and birthdays and that. On the ground floor are the female dancers. Now that's much bigger and gets a lot busier. And in the basement are where all the officers are and all that. They have to keep the cash. Exactly. When the dancers go on a break, they put all the money they just made into one of the envelopes. They put the name on it and how much they put yeah. in. Then they seal it and drop it into the chute and down into the basement. Now, at the end of the night, in the basement, all the money is collected and counted by the manager. He's a real slime ball. He's always trying to cough for the dancers. And I've heard he's on the take. He's been dipping into it and taking for years. Is he the owner? No, he just manages it. 
It's owned by someone else. So what next? You think they're just going to invite us in for a proper look around? No, I asked if there's any jobs going. The manager wants to see us tonight. I reckon we could be on. Well, I haven't said I'd do it yet. All right, I'll do it with my jack I've had to. I'd just rather you come with me. Well? Well, what's the score? Well, I reckon we need to get in there and have a good look around. See exactly what's going on, you know, what's happening and when. We go in there, check it out. After a couple of weeks, we come back, all tooled up, storm in there and help ourselves to the What's meet. all tooled up mean? I don't know, a few basey bats and that. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I reckon we need to raise our game. I'm sick of doing rubbish jobs for rubbish money. Come on. If anything, we can get a free blimp of a load of fit beds. Well? All right. Nice one. But no promises. I'll go along with you just to check it out. Sad? Look, Jim. Don't start apologising. You don't want me involved. That's your prerogative. Just make sure you know what you're doing and who you're dealing with, OK? We do. I mean it. Don't rush into anything until you know exactly how you're going to do it and be certain you know all the risks involved. Have you got it? Don't worry, we will. Good. Because it's all about planning and preparation. Just ding that one in there, yeah? Ding! Ding. in my office with a bit more private, all right? But I've got a few things to finish off first. Right, so you go and have a sit down. I'll make sure someone comes look after you, all right? And uh, I'll be uh, back to see you when I'm ready, all right? Cheers, Don. Right, see ya. Hey, is he gay or something? I don't think so. Did you see the way he was looking me up and down? You just imagine it. I'm telling you. Just forget about it. Concentrate on trying to impress him. We really need these jobs. Hey, yeah. This is my mate, Julie. Hiya. We've been asked to make sure that you uh, don't get too bored while you're waiting to see Don, so uh, do you fancy a dance? Don says Don has. No, we're sound. Well, but wait a minute, we, uh, we don't want to seem ungrateful, do we? He made Steve. Candy. Candy? <laughs> could have chosen a better name than that, could you? Well, actually, my real name's Stevie, but I thought Candy's got to be much better than that. <laughs> so, uh, are you ready for a dance, then? I'm up for it if you are. With a bit of luck, we could be workmates soon. We're seeing Don about a couple of bar jobs. Why do you want to work in this, Don? I want to pay off my student loan. So what will happen to the job you've got now? I can still do that during the day. You won't earn much serving drinks, will you? Yeah, well, money isn't everything. And think of the perks. Like the view. I don't think I've ever had anyone stare at my face all the way through a dance before. I like what I see. Maybe next time we can do it somewhere more private. See you later. I could work here for nothing. Well, you virtually will be. So enjoy it while you can. Do you really think we can pull something like this off? I mean, there was three bouncers on the door, there's others floating around. How do we get past them? We'll figure that out while we're working here. Yeah. Think of why we're here, Steve. Concentrate on the job in hand. Oh, yeah, like you, you mean? Look, I still don't see how we can do it. I mean, even if the cash is sitting in that room waiting to be taken, how do we get it out? Let's think of something. Here we go. Now, remember, be dead enthusiastic. I really want to work here. I'm doing the best. Just hang on here, lads, yeah? as well, isn't it? Yeah, it wouldn't matter. Not if you're in now fast enough. There's no way we could just get in and snatch it, though, is there? They'll work something out. Like what? I don't know, yeah. But we can't give up that easily. Pull this off, I know we can. Yeah, but how? 
have to be an inside job. We make our move while we're still working here. What do we have to work here for? As long as it takes. Remember what Jimmy said? Planning and preparation. At least this way we do it right, instead of just rushing it all. You'll be prime suspects. We'll have to make sure we cover our tracks then. We're making this club a fortune out there. You could easily afford to give us a rise. You knew the money when you started. Yeah, well, all other clubs, the dancers get to keep what I take. Yeah, other clubs don't give real beginners a chance like we gave you. So get upstairs and do your job. And you can tell the rest, if they don't like it, they can sleep around. Sorry about that, lads. Come in. Oh, just the dancers having their annual moan. They can't whine about the dressing rooms thanks to Timbo here, so they're on about the pay. I don't care, but some of those lads earn a small fortune. Still, let's forget about that gang of whingers, shall we? Yeah? So, what about you two? Best mates, eh? Yeah. yeah. We always work together, you know, like I said, in bars and clubs and that. Which is why we're wondering you might have something for us. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, in fact, I think you'll do really well here. And you say you're a double act, yeah? Go anywhere, do anything. Yeah, that's us. And you fancy earning some proper money? Too right. How? A double act. Dancing. <laughs> Lap dancing. We, uh, well, yeah, we're up for it if it's going to earn us some serious wedge, yeah? Well, a couple of good-looking lads like you are just what our lady customers are gagging for. But I'll give you an audition, see if you're up to it. Nice one. It's not easy, right? But if you fancy any decent money and you don't mind having a room full of birds lusting after you every night, then you've both got jobs here. Sound? I'll set something up for you for Friday before we open, right? And if you pick it up, you'll have women stuffing money in those trunks in no time. Cheers. But we've... No, come ahead. Uh, look, we'll see you tomorrow, Don. And thanks a lot for this. Really appreciate it. Definitely 100%. No debate, no argument, no way. No. What's perfect? What's perfect about making a holy show of ourselves, taking our kids off in front of a room full of women? Perfect cover. Who's going to suspect a pair of lap dancers are robbing their own money? One, we are not and never will be lap dancers. And two, the first people he'll suspect the two divvies pretended to be lap dancers. Those changing rooms are right. We won't have to actually dance for anyone. We can just string them along, pretend we're struggling, pretend, work out a plan. Sound so easy. They know who we are. No, they don't. Well, they can trace us through hockey. Our faces are on all sorts. See, Look, if we're clever, we can do it in a certain way where no one will even point a finger at us. If we were clever, we'd forget about it right now. We're started now. We can't lose our nerve. Well, all right. If it gets too risky, we'll just walk away. At least let's look into it properly. Oh, come on, what you say? <sighs> Idea of ever. I don't worry about it. You know what? I'm glad you said don't worry because I won't be getting my kids off for anyone. Yeah. Hang on. You've got your work, your family, everything. Don't be trying to make me feel bad about it. I'm not. I just really want you to do this with me, Steve. I don't know, a couple of hours dancing and we could be rolling in money. Think about it. You get yourself a new motor, flash watch, smart clothes. We won't know ourselves. Let's just at least do the audition. How did it go? Well, he offered us an audition. To dance? Yeah. But you're not dancers, are you? Well, we've got to start somewhere. It's not that easy. I told you. We need the dosh. And if students can get up and do a few moves, I'm sure we can. We might need a bit of practical advice. You offer any services? Well, maybe as a dance teacher, if you need me. Oh, we'll need you. <laughs> got to be back here Friday for the audition. Huh? Oh, great. Get to see those abs in the flesh then, won't you? Your first look. Promise, it's a promise. Mm -hmm. You want something? Yeah, with a bit of luck. We can't lap dance. You heard that, Don. It's gonna get one of the dancers to push through our paces. We just follow them and we've got candy if we need to. Please. In three days. It'll be a laugh. And there's a pot of gold sitting down there waiting for us. Trust me, we'll be fit, Tom and Lap.
going. Oh, maybe we've done about three or four miles there. Maybe we can do better. Who cares if it's burning fat? Yeah, we're on left of burn. Hey, there'll be some hiding somewhere. Right, now for another muscle workout. Oh, no, I'm some pecs again. Yeah, it's what the ladies are looking for. And that special bit of maleness. Oh, well, I've got no problem. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job size doesn't count. Anyway, three days of intense training. I'm starting to feel a bit jaded. Have you been getting early nights, though? All those stars in Hollywood, they're all in bed by 8 o'clock. Yeah, with each other. You getting to bed early? It's all right. Yeah, not with candy, though. <sighs> Jimmy thinks there's something wrong with me. Keeps on asking me all the questions. Yeah, we'll just leave him well out of it. That's the first thing you said that makes me feel like you're up for it. Well, in. I don't know. Some things you're born to do, and, well, sipping was never part of my game plan. We in great shape. Yeah, well, just don't fancy get me kicked off in front of everyone. You're always walking around your cosy on the beach, don't you? Or when you got the pool. Yeah, but I don't usually have women shouting, get them off, or get it out, or whatever. Well, then, change your aftershave. Come on. We've just got to work hard at this audition to get this job right. Then we've just got to dance there for a couple of weeks or whatever, suss the place out and then bang. That's when we get the dosh and blow. But you've got to know how much this means to me, Steve. There's no way I'm going to end up like Jimmy, doing minty jobs. Legit or scammy. Who knows, maybe I'll go off me head a few years like he's done, cos I've done nothing in my life either. If we get caught, the bouncers will dump us in a skip somewhere. Look, I'll tell you what. We do the audition and if we get the job, we suss out every last detail. We don't lift the money until we're 100% certain we can get away with it. And if it's too risky, well, we just jib it. Come on, think of the women. Double D and double F will be our favourite letters. Come on, what you say? It's a deal. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Hey, Steve, are you beefing up in certain areas? Yeah, Liverpool. They'll love you, they'll have your kecks off within ten minutes. Hey, do you mind? I don't want them putting off. Sorry, I'm only joking. Most of the women are quite shy and there's a no-touch policy anyway. Thank God for that. So, um, have you had a chance to look at the videos? Yeah, I'm bored out of my skull watching them. <sighs> Fellas gyrating. Yeah, but they give you good ideas, don't they? Have you chosen the tracks that you want to dance to? Well, I thought we just got in there. They put the music on, then we got up. This is almost a profession, you know. So, come on then, let's see ya. Yeah, we're hardly just for it, are we? Stop stalling, I've got loads to do today before my shift. Well, that's not the sort of stuff that we dance to, is it? Yeah, and we haven't even prepared anything. So, choose your sounds? Yeah, if we get the job. Positive. And, um, have you been on the sunbeds? Three days on the bounce. Yeah, I thought you both looked a little bit on the red side, and you would. We'll be all right, won't we? Well, you want to look professional, don't you? So, I think you need to use fake. No way! Well, I don't want to do it either, but if it gets us closer to the dosh... Look, do we have to? Yeah. I think you should put these on as soon as possible. Right. See? Hey, this one's our favourite. Here we go. Watch this. Our favourite one. Let's bust the groove. Right. Come on, dance then. Well, that's what I'm here for. I haven't come all this way for nothing, you know. I thought you two were dancers chasing a job. Just let yourself go and, well, act like you're trying to make me want you. Let's do move. Right, that wasn't bad, but you need to feel the music a bit more. We will. Oh, and you'll need these. See ya. See you later. See you later. See ya. No way! I am not wearing that! It's a uniform, isn't it? Yeah, cut me in two! Were you with a wider one, then? <laughs> it's about a millimetre wider. <sighs> Gyrating, stripping and no thongs. All right, we only wear them if we get the job, OK? Right, then. Let's get on with the quick tan. Well, can't we put that on as well if we get the job? Steve, there's grand here at stake. A little bit of quick tan will make them realise we're serious. All right. Good. It's upstairs, then. You can do my back and I'll do yours. I hope your hands are warm. <laughs> Go on. You first. Oh, don't be so rough. It's the first time I've done this, you know. I'm being as gentle as I can. 
you stay face down? I've nearly finished. Well, just wait till it's your turn. We'll soon see how you like it. What the flaming hell's going on in here? Look, I know it looks dodgy, but... Dodgy? Which one of you is Spartacus? What? <laughs> Lap dancers. Yeah. Bit of a career change, isn't it? Well, it pays well. Sounds like you're serious about it. We've been false turn into each other's bodies. We are serious. What do you think? Look, there's no way I am having it that you two are going in for the biggest career change in history. This has got something to do with you being so secretive, hasn't it, eh? All right. There's a job on. I knew it. A scam. No, a big job. Like our first bank robbery. It's simple. And there's big bucks to be made. Listen, the simple jobs are the worst. Unless you pay attention to your detail. We're not amateurs. We're just going to go in and take. Oh, is that right? Make it sound as if you're going to pick your own strawberries. Yeah, well, it might be easier than that. A lap dancing club. Easy pickings. Have you got your head screwed on? You've got no chance. Place will be full of bouncers. You don't know the setup. We do. Right, look, I know we're making it sound easy, but we won't be taking any risks, will you're we? You're doing an inside job, aren't you? Yeah. Then it's risky from the start because anyone with a bit of sense will be able to work it out. Two new dancers start, and the next thing you know, the takings go missing. Behave yourselves, will ya? I told you it wasn't going to be easy. Don't listen to it. Tim, I'm looking out for you. I'm over 21. P-A-T-D. P-A-T-D. Pay attention to detail. Don't be pulling the face, it's important. Now, come on, run the details of the job past me. I'll see if there's any weak spots in it. Come on. We're doing this on our own. I'm experienced, aren't I? Yeah, and I had experience the last time you come on a job with us. Who's to say the strain of this job won't send you off your head again? Well, thanks for that. Hey, should we run the details by him? No, in fact, why don't you run the details by me? I'm thinking of it. So the big plan is, there is no plan with busking it. I haven't got all the details yet. Well, that's exactly Jimmy's point, P-A-T-D or whatever it was. Do you really want him involved in all this? It'd be a disaster. Listen, if this cash is so easy to get, you want to ask yourself why someone hasn't thought of the job. Well, probably because no one else has had the bottle to. But we're going to change that. Look, I'm not the crazy Al Nutter you two think I am. I know stuff. Look, I can help. Don't shut me out, I can help. Use this place then? All the boys still about 12 of them all together, but they're always coming and going, you know. Clubs often them better money or whatever. Well, anyway, Dirty Don's not involved with things. You only make it as I wipe someday. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The other dancers are talking about getting a voucher system, something like that. That might help. Yeah. Anyway, let me know how you get on with the audition. See you later. later. Yeah. I need to get another private dancer for her. Yeah, what does she mean, voucher system? Who cares? I just want to see you dance again. Well, never mind that. Is this a laundry suit? Yeah. Right, let's. Thought you done giving you the one service there, eh? Yeah. What are you dancing to? Yeah, we thought some of that might be the summer sound stuff. Yeah. Dance to that beat, you need new lungs at the end of two numbers. Why, it's too fast? That's not sexy. You're up for a laugh. You can only have a laugh to Fatboy Slim, can you? So the, uh, the dancing's not that important, then? That's only part of it. You're up for a laugh. And I feel you too for a bob if they can get away with it. You're joking, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Which is why you've got to keep it under control. Keep it at arm's length, at least six inches away. <laughs> Look, um, should we have brought one of those costumes? Nah, not for the audition. Are you going to be in there? No way. Well, what happens with us, like? Well, you two are dancing for Dirty Don on your own. <laughs> See you later. We can't dance in the club, as you know. You'll have to do it in here. Not in this room. Well, it's not the Albert Hall, I know, lad, but how much space do you want? Well, come on, then. Get your kits off. I haven't got all day. We haven't got no costumes. It's your bodies I want to see, and whether or not you've got any promise as dancers. Peggy. Peggy, love. Not later, yeah? Right. So, you two queens ready? We're not gay. Yeah, we're straight as a gun, mate. Yeah. Whatever. Right, uh, something raunchy? Yeah, that'll do. 
Not much bass, I know, but off you go. Can you um, send her up a bit? I just need more practice. Yeah, what a team, and your year's better once he gets going. I don't know, you queens stick together, he'll hold you back, but... Oh, come on, what a team. I'm not gay. Yeah, you said. All right, then, well, you stay at the back of the stage, so I think you've warmed up, all right? Oh, thanks, Tom. For like costumes, yeah, now. You are Thor the Impaler. Couple of horns there, put them to good use. Oh, and you'll probably need a thong as well. <laughs> you... Our rough rider. Practice with the whip. You might put someone's eye out. Yeah, look, thanks for this, you know. You're down a couple of weeks from now, I'll be brilliant. Good. Well, just don't make a dipstick of yourself tonight, then. Tonight? Yeah. A couple of dancers let me down. Another pair of queens who weren't gay. Right, get those to the dressing room and back here for nine, all right? Oh, and uh, you might need to stick a couple of socks down your underpants, all right? Get away with this. Look, I've thought it all through. Here yeah. The old chute leads right down to the old laundry room, right? So it's down the chute, on a rope, grab the cash, and I'll pull you back up. Pull me up. Oh, once we suss out the routine of when the dancers are on the stage and we've got everything timed, bang, that's when we'll strike. You think I'm climbing down that chute? Yeah, well, I'll be holding the rope. No way. You're slimmer than me. Look, this planet is all over the shop. I am not climbing down any shoes on the rope. I don't care if it's for a million. What? I get claustrophobia. Oh, problems, lads. Well, we got the job, but mastermind here has worked out that one of us has got to go down a laundry chute. And it isn't going to be me. Whoa. Looks like you just volunteered yourself, kid. So, got all your details worked out, then? Of course we have. So this, um, laundry chute leads to where the cash is, does it? Got it in one. And who else has got access to this cash? Only the manager. Dirty Don. So let me just get this right, you know, in my own head, like. You go down the chute, he's on the rope, you grab the money, and... Well, then we stash it, and hide it, and then we wait till the end of the night. And what happens if the manager realises the money's gone before you finish work? Look, I haven't figured out everything yet. I've only done a quick recce. Yeah. Hey, but listen, the manager is ripping everyone off. The dancers, the owners, everyone, they all hate him. So when we take the money, they'll just pull in some big insurance claim and... Well, it's happy days. Yeah, it's happy days. Happy days. Hey, don't be getting all Robin Hood on me. <sighs> Look, the chute isn't that big, you know. It's three floors, down one little bit of rope. I don't care. Come on. Look, a 30 grand, mate. Jim. I didn't mean to be harsh before, but... Listen, Tim, I know I'm a bit older than you, but I was at your game a lot of years, and one thing I learned is that before you go into any job, make sure you know how to get out quickly and safely. I'll cover all the bases when I know the details. We you stop flapping? I'm not. It's just that since, um... You know, I worry you might do something daft. You know, nothing to lose and all that. Tim, Candy's on the phone. Candy? Who's Candy? Some girl from the club. A lap dancer? Yeah. All oh, right. Every man's dream, eh? Until jealousy kicks in. We're only mates. <laughs> so does this, uh, Candy know anything about your little scam? Oh, no way. He's only known her five minutes. And he's not dead into her, like? She's a looker. Listen, Steve. 
You've got to look after him, you know. I don't seem to be able to influence him anymore. Not that the young ever listen to sense anyway. We've got a problem. A big one. The voucher system. Yeah, Randy's been kicking off that much about the money that the owner's just been in, and from Monday they've got to use vouchers. How'd you mean, like? Well, if you want to dance, you have to buy a voucher, which means no cash changes hands. Well, there's no point in us nicking a load of dancing vouchers, is there? No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Tim, just forget it. Assessment, planning, implementation, evaluation. That's the pattern you should be following. You haven't assessed or planned anything properly yet. Jimmy, please, will you just back off? I'm trying to think here. We just do it tonight. <sighs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? No, once we found the money. We just stash it outside. And? I don't know, um, we put it out with the rubbish. And if, and this is a massive if, by the way, if that dirty Don finds out that the money's gone before we close, there'll be no sight of it in the building. It's got to work, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it works, but how do we get the money outside? I don't know, there's got to be a way. Don't take unnecessary risks. Jimmy, please. OK, look, I'm getting off. Steve. Put some rope in your bag. This is definitely going to work. Rough Rider and Thor the Impaler. The new team. OK, I'll give it a whirl. We'll see you later. Details, Jimbo. I've worked it out. You know what? I should be running MI5. It's too rushed. It's happening. You're getting on my cake. I don't want to hear any more about it. A pair of you are behaving like a... Pair of amateurs. Why am I standing here dressed like a Viking rubbing oil into my chest? Because next up is the pillaging. Look at that mirror. What do you see? An orange Viking? No, you see a man on the verge of making himself a lot of money. He's right, mate. You can make a good bit here. Secret is, people aren't going to take a couple of the women. Be a bit saucy with them. They love it. No, you don't mean it. Well, how long do we have to dance for? Oh, two songs. Let me go out amongst them, boy. Make sure you save some energy for when we're doing the close-up dancing. That's where you make your money. The tips. Well, you two better get going before Don kicks off. Boy, break your leg, lads. Spinach, please. With spinach. Any chips? No, just spinach. Real kids aren't always. Was Tony Blair right about the threat from Saddam? Or did he deliberately mislead us and take us into an unjustified war with Iraq? Jon Snow puts the Prime Minister on trial. Tony Blair on trial, tonight at 10 past 8 on 4. I just can't do it. We'll have to. we blow the whole thing. Will you go first then? I think I can. What's up, Lex? A little bit of nerves, but there's no way we're going out in front of that lot. Oh, that's nothing to worry about. We're dancing around dressed like complete divvies. You'll soon have that lot off. <sighs> Oi, look, you'll be fine. Go on. Look, standing in a thong in front of a load of bevied women is not my idea of being fine. If you two can't act, then get your gear and get lost. Randy, you get out there and do this one before this lot tear the place apart. Let's just think of the money.
kid, man. That was the most embarrassing three minutes of my life. No, they liked us. No, they were buzzing off us because we were so bad, more like. Yeah, at least we got through it. That's the main thing. I'm sure one of my dinner ladies from the old school was over there. Ah, you'd imagine that. I'm telling you, it was there. Well, so whatever it was, anyway. Well, I don't think I can go through that again. Look, all we have to do is do it for a few more hours, and then we'll be rolling in cash. Oh, right, well done, boys. We really got into it by the end. That's it. Uh, table three, one sexy uh, dance from the Viking. Oh, what? aye? What about the cowboy? Ah, sorry, mate. I only asked for the impaler. No way, I am not doing that again. That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Oh, you could pass the hardest part. I can't. Look, they wouldn't ask for you unless they liked you. As if. Well, it must be the helmet, then. <laughs> Wait, go on, don't keep them waiting. You'll clean up now. The big spenders. <laughs> go on. Well done. Not bad for a first attempt. You watched us. You weren't too great to begin with, but you still got the hang of it. So do you think they'll make the grade? Definitely. Why don't you get out there and get yourself a few more dances? You'll be rolling in the cash. I am. See you later. See you later. There's no substitute for experience. Why young people can't afford to ignore the knowledge and wisdom offered to them by the older generation. <laughs> young people will always rush in before thinking things through properly. Being young means being impulsive. And being impulsive means you always run the risk of laying yourself bare. People expose themselves to all kinds by not taking the proper advice. There's a knack to everything, and you learn what you know from who you know. I'm knackered. There's no way I can keep this up all night. Uh, you'll be all right, mate. How much have you made? Well, it's over 100. All right. Well, that ain't bad. How about you, mate? 170. Ah, oh, 120. Oh, pity we don't get to keep it all in. Yeah, tell me about it. You do it in most places. Well, just dump. Why not? It's a take on raw beginners like you two and me when I first started. We either have enough of it or get wise to it, and they bring in the next lot. And I make a lot of cash out of it. Too right. I'm packing it in. Going somewhere where I can keep the money I earn. Yeah, well, I'm in line in someone else's pocket. See you later, lads. See you later. Yeah. By the end of the night, we'll be the ones with all the money. And what about the other dancers? The you might not get paid. It's not their fault if the club loses all the money. Oh, so you reckon they'll just weigh them in anyway? Yeah, they'll have to. Anyway, don't worry about it. We've got enough to think about. Like getting the cash out of here and putting it somewhere safe. And by the time we finish, we pack our stuff up and get out. We'll have gone before they've even noticed the money has. <sighs> Storming the place, aren't we? Yeah, we're not getting left there anymore. Well, not as much as we read, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll see you up there. Yeah? I've had requests for a few private dances already. Huh? Oh, good for you. What? Sorry, it just seems so weird you being here dancing. I mean, last week you were delivering chairs. So? So it just doesn't feel right. You just don't seem like the lap dancing types either, have you? Why not? We're doing all right up there, aren't we? I don't know. I'm sure you're up to something. No, we're just having a go at it. 
You know, you've got to try out new things, haven't you? Well, skydiving or bungee jumping, maybe, yeah, but this... I'll see why not. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe you'll both make great lap dancers. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. So why are you here, then? Honestly. We're just trying to improve our lives. Look, I know it isn't perfect, but it's a start in the right direction, isn't it? I'm determined to make something of my life. I always promised them I would. In that case, you have to keep your promise. It's obvious you've been through a lot, but you've still got so much going for you. Oh, it wasn't that long ago that I thought my life was over. I've never seen the point in carrying on. Don't get me wrong, it hurts. Loads. I'll always miss them. But lately, I feel like I could have a future. You will. And you'll be happy again. Or you might even find someone. Yeah, maybe. If it feels right. Sit. Come in. Put on. One thing I do know is that I've still got plenty to offer. I can teach. I can pass it all on, but only if they are willing to listen. Young people like me, when I was their age, probably think they know best. Maybe I can convince them to listen and learn. Show them where they are going wrong. I can hardly move. Yeah, me too. Are you ready? Maybe we don't have to do this, right? Maybe we could make enough money dancing. Can you handle getting groped by grannies every night? And then having to hand most of your money over to the club's owners? All right, then let's do it. Just you keep Dixie, I'll get the stuff ready. Make sure it's tight. Don't worry, you don't want to fall down a couple of floors. Even if it is a big pile of money at the bottom. I'll make sure the girls don't see it in their dressing room. Yeah, I'm doing my best. Just keep Dixie, will ya? All right, hurry up. All right, that should do it. Stay, come on. Give it a sharp tug if anyone comes. Come on, then. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Exactly. There's still a good ten minutes to go, so go out there and fleece every last penny off him. And where's your sidekick? He's already the old dance. Well, go and join him then. Give them what they want. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Steph. I didn't tell them where we are, all right? Hey, listen. We're having a really good night out there. So I think no one will notice if I help myself to a little bonus. Enough to send us away on one of our special weekends, yeah? Where do you think you're going? I need the toilet. Yeah. Will you do that in your break? And I haven't seen your mate yet. Well, he was around here somewhere. I think he's doing the dance for someone. <laughs> I'm not stupid, you know. I know what he's up to. What? Skyving. <laughs> Look, you better hope I don't catch him. Otherwise, you're bugged out of a job. All right? 
He's so cute. He reminds me of Michael Owen, and he better look. <laughs> I must be hearing things. <laughs> Don't matter, huh? Are <laughs> oh, you alright, mate? Yeah, fine. Oh, one of that hen night mob me ripped my trunks off. I'd have to come back in here and get changed. <laughs> I know the mad auntie. Oh, you should get back out there and do the last couple of dances. Oh, I can't, I'm wasted. I'm all right, don't let Don catch you in here. He'll go spare, even if it is your first night. I don't care, I've had enough. Yeah, well, you've done well. Well, you can make a good living out of this if you try hard enough. <laughs> Thought you'd see me there. Quick, come to the rope. Everything all okay? Yeah. No witches. No, it was all sound. How much was down there? More than we could have ever hoped. I knew you two were up to something. See, there was one thing. She, um, see me in the shoot. Oh, great. This was all just about getting the takings, wasn't it? No, not all of it. You sure you weren't just using me to help with your cover? You know it wasn't. Look, what are you going to do now? I think you give a toss about this place. You can take the money for all I care. Thanks. It was you. No, they won't. Cos cause we're going to take this bag out to the back alley with the rest of the rubbish. And when we leave, we're going to pick it up. By the time they realise it's missing, no one will be able to prove anything. Well, what if somebody spots you putting the bag outside? Well, that's just the risk we'll have to take. Don's roaming around out there checking up on everyone. Well, we're just going to have the chance and hope that Don doesn't spot us. Give it to me. What? Well, we're always taking rubbish out of the dressing rooms. If I'm seen with it, I won't attract any attention. And how do we know that you just won't keep walking? And how do we know she's not just spinning grasses up to Donny? Well, we don't, but... No, there you go. Give it to her. Are you mad? No, she's right, Steve. If we take it out, we're going to rouse too much suspicion. Come on, we've got to trust her. Are you sure about this? Thanks. It'll be fine. It's mad. It's okay, Steve. I trust her. And besides, it's better this way. No one's gonna suspect her. Come on. Let's just go and show our faces, eh? What are you doing? Um, just putting the rubbish out. You want to be upstairs dancing? Yeah, but we just finished. I had to get this out of the dressing room. It's um, starting to stink the place Couldn't out. Couldn't it wait? Well, open it up and have a sniff. Right. Maybe if you employed more than one part-time cleaner out here, we wouldn't have to do this. All you lot ever do is moan. Um. Thanks, girls. See ya. Got a few admirers there, Steve. Hey, one of them gave me a number. That's my wife. You must have heard about your famous home servicing. You do special rates for housewives, don't you? Yeah, anyway. Have you seen Candy? No, but she must have done it by now. Come on, let's get off before they realise the money's gone. Yeah, you boys didn't do too bad for your first night. Thanks for the help. See you tomorrow. You're going nowhere. Nobody is. What's up? Search them all, starting with these two. Check them all. Come on. What's going on? Someone's been down the basement and had the takings off. Why have they done that? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. No one's leaving this place until I get that money back. You search this place from top to bottom. It's got to be here somewhere. Get out. Because he's get involved and he find out the stink that Sam Tim Cork and Don exist. It's just too embarrassed to give our real names in. Anyway, that's never gonna happen. Because he's been ripping everyone off and there's no way we want the police involved. Like, it's open. What were you doing earlier when I saw you sneaking out the back? Well, I told you I was putting the rubbish out. Right. Get all the rubbish bags and get all this lot into Bear Bar 1. We're gonna sort through every single one of them. Is that the last bag? Where's the money? Come on, where is it? <laughs> okay, boys and girls, time to go. Hey, where did you put it? 
Outside? So where is it now, eh? How am I supposed to know it's in the alleyway where you told me to put it? Yeah, so you keep saying. You better get out and have a look. It could be a trap. Yeah, or we could have been ripped off too. Are you sure you put it right here? Positive, I brought it straight out after you gave it to me in the dressing room. So where is it then? I don't know, maybe Don's trying to pull a fast one. He might have come out and got it after he saw me bringing it out. Yeah, or maybe you could have got someone to come and get it. I'll tell him, tell him I wouldn't do that. Oh, great, don't you trust me now? Well, we went through all that and for what, eh? That money go missing's got nothing to do with me. So where is it then? It kind of just disappeared. I swear, I don't know. But if you don't believe me, there's nothing I can do about it. We can't just let her get off. Well, we can't exactly stop her, can we? If she wanted to, she could tell them it was us. Oh, great, so we could get caught in if and a load of money, which we haven't even got. Have you boys lost something? Jimmy, what are you doing here? Where'd you get that from? You didn't think things through properly, did you? You took the bag. Get in before someone clocks us. Who's this, the car? Old habits. Get in, I said, before the owner finds out it's missing. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on. It'll be okay when you explain what happened. Should have trusted her. Well, what else were we supposed to think? I'm just going to see her tomorrow, try and apologise. I wouldn't blame her if she told me to get lost. I mean, it doesn't matter. I won't be seeing her now when I'm dancing there anymore. Oh, yeah, you will. What? Well, if we don't go back, they'll just come looking for us. Yeah, but do you think Don the manager's got the money? <laughs> yeah, but he hasn't. So, when they don't find it, they're going to start looking for it elsewhere, aren't they? Exactly. So we're going to have to put in a few more weeks just to be on the safe side. Oh, what? Nice one, Stevie, lad. You're learning. Lad's having a good teacher. It's Trust right. Me. It's right. Anyway, I'm sure you can handle it, can't you, eh? For the money's sake. <laughs> Do a bit of thieving. Haven't you got work to do? You idiot! It was an accident. No, lad. You are the accident. What are you doing? Why are your hands in the water? I'm washing them. Ah! Jimmy! Always got to be Jimmy's fault, hasn't it? Switch on and tune in to The Cable Guy tonight on 4. Jim Carrey plays the psycho friend of Matthew Broderick at 9.45. Stay with us. Robert Mitchum is the guy trapped behind enemy lines. Explosive film action co-starring Colombo man Peter Falk in Anzio. Next.